so with head coach Stephen O'Donnell ahead of another big week for the Saints with a Dublin derby again Shamrock Rovers to look forward to on Friday but Stephen first you just reflect on the, the cup game a 6-0 victory over Bray some great goals and into the next round yeah delighted uh, we, we when the draw was made um, you know it was a game where I said it would be a tough fixture in the sense of Bray of very good calibre players uh, and on a given night can put it up to you I think they did I think they did have some moments in the first half obviously we got in a half time 2-0 um, two nil up, and then they started quite brightly. Second half, I think the third goal early enough in the second half, um, um sort of maybe knocked the stuffing out of them, and then it became an enjoyable game for us. And you know the the players enjoyed themselves and played some really good stuff. And then obviously, great to get young boys on the three young boys on to make their debut as well. Keen, Tommy, and Josh. So great night all round. And you know the obviously the goal was before the game to be in the next round of the cup, and that's where we are. Yeah, we were speaking early in the week, so the draw will have happened by the time people watch the interview. You can see the draw on the St. Pat's social media channels. But focus on the match against Shamrock Rovers and Floyd to see much of your thoughts ahead of it. Yeah, obviously a, a good game. We always they are good games against Rovers, and that's where we're going to Tala, a great place to play. Uh, lovely surface, great arena. So it's a match we're really looking forward to. And, um, you know, we'll, we'll gear up to our week for, for the game on Friday. And, you know, as I said, it's a... For us, it's 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 a real good game to play, and we're we're 21 games. We're in a good position in the league. We're probably no one, nobody expected us to be, bar maybe ourselves internally. We we knew what we were capable of in the group, but you know the lads are exceeding expectations, and the way they're working week on week is great. And we're just going like we are every other week to try and. Uh, put on a performance in the sense of application and intensity and see where that takes us and honesty and that's what the players have done throughout the season they've been brilliant in that regard and as I said week in week out they're really working hard during the week in preparation for the matches so again we're really looking forward to and uh, you know in regards to pressure and that there's no real pressure on us um, as I said not many people would have predicted where we're at so it's a game we're looking forward to and uh, we, we enjoy going to Tala and as I said the fixtures against Shamrock Rovers are high quality games I think they're two decent teams and Friday will be no de- no different and just lastly you mentioned after 21 games it's probably the first time in a number of years that a St Pat's team are towards the top end of the table past the halfway point but you've been saying to the players all along to just enjoy the ride keep playing and see where it takes them yeah exactly look at our squad in the sense of you know we've a lot of young players that are uh, their first year in senior football um, our squad in comparison to the other club squads is, is very small um, but it, it's, it has good quality but as you saw last month six weeks or two months our bench has been exceptionally young with a lot of young players on uh, the players that have come in the young players on Friday done very well obviously you had James Abankway against Derry came on with, with 10 men done excellent so it's great for the young players and great for for the young players even below that uh, the lower age of seeing that there is a pathway and you know they're not a million miles away from the first team but squad wise we, we are we are small so um, you know there's a really good sort of how would I put it um, camaraderie amongst the group and it's a tight squad and we're enjoying week on week and you know you enjoy the positive results we've had a few of them this season and we're looking forward now to the last 15 games of the season see where that takes us but all I can ask for in regards uh, where we've been at so far this season is commitment and, and honesty of effort and that's what we've had.